Hello everyone and welcome back to Flare. Now many people have been asking both in the comments and on Twitter how we kept our live streams running for such a long time. So in this video I will be teaching you how to live stream 24-7. And if you are looking for a more detailed explanation about how to get started with normal live streams, you can watch our OBS tutorial which I will have a link to in the description below. And by the way, this video is not sponsored and everything that I will be mentioning about other companies is just personal opinion. But for now, let's get started with today's video. Live streaming is done by running a software on a computer. This means that in order to stream 24-7, you're going to have to leave a computer on 24-7. We have a few computers dedicated to streaming, but there can often be problems with leaving your computer running for an extended period of time. In fact, sometimes the internals of the computer can overheat and even get damaged. So if you don't want to risk your computer getting damaged from streaming for too long, or if you simply don't have a strong enough internet connection, whatever your reason is, the solution is to rent a VPS, which stands for Virtual Private Server which is a server that you can rent online from a hosting service. However, keep in mind that streaming for such a long time will come with a cost, whether it's from renting the server or from the electricity that your computer uses. Next, a lot of you have been wondering what the streaming setup is on this channel. We have three local computers and two servers, which provide enough power to run both our two main streams and a few backup streams. However, if you are only planning to start one 24 seven live stream, I would recommend renting a server unless you have extra computers. The VPS that we use is from obubble.com. Obubble offers several server plans depending on what quality and frame rate you want your stream to run at, and prices range from $14.99 to $99.99 per month. For our main backup streams, we use a server from another VPS provider called Vulture. Just like Obubble, Vulture offers a variety of servers with different specs to choose from and has similar prices to Obubble. The differences between these two is that while Vulture just has servers that you can rent and do whatever you want with, Obubble is more dedicated to streaming and their servers are optimized for that. Furthermore, Vulture charges you for as much as you use, so it is extremely useful especially for backup streams. If you decide to start a 24-7 livestream of your own, all you need to do is go on to obubble.com or vulture.com, follow the instructions and you will be able to get a server. Or if you have a computer that you are willing to use for streaming and has enough power, you can always just use that. This decision is up to you to make. It's also a good idea to do regular maintenance checks on your stream to make sure everything is working fine. So that concludes this tutorial for live streaming 24-7. If you have been wondering how to do this, hopefully this video answers your questions. Once again, if you just wanted to know how to get started with live streaming, the link to my OBS setup tutorial will be in the description below. I will also include links to Obubble and Vulture, which are not affiliate links. And finally, if you enjoy videos like these and want to see more, consider subscribing and turning notifications on so you never miss any of our future uploads. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Set my heart